you for watching Grampy's videos. Hello and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Minecraft with Grumpy Grampy. We are going to do some updates on stuff I've built. Um, I did another video where I was building the fish farm, but I finished my AFK platform. I'm about 20 above right here. And I, w I come up about 20 blocks. The mechanics are 24 to 64. So fish will spawn within a 24 to 64 radius. Um, and you can see they're, they're going like gangbusters down there. I haven't, I haven't done a one hour time thing. I did the bubble water tube here. And one thing you'll want to be aware of if you do a water bubble tube close to water or where fish are, um, I got scared. I was sitting here AFK watching a movie. So I had done that. I had put, you know, went to my inventory. I was over on another screen watching a movie. And then all of a sudden I started hearing fish flopping all over the place. And I didn't know what was going on. I come back in, fish had spawned in the water bubble tube here somewhere. And then they come spurting up. Uh, they probably they probably spawned way down at the bottom because it is a water block. And they come spurting up the, the bubble tube then. Um, so just be careful of that or be aware of that if you're building. So we... Uh, ouch. Let's go down here and check. I built this little tube here to be able to be protected. Uh, I finally finally made some candles, some candles in place here. Um, did some lighting here. There's the rail cart going back and forth, picking up all the fish. And you can just I just been here a few minutes, and it's just giving me a whole bunch of a uh, whole bunch of fish. Um, it's just super productive. Uh, lots of bones, giving me lots of bones and uh, lots of uh, fish. So we're just gonna pack those away in here. So there we go. Pack those up. Oh, there we go. Uh, I killed a, I killed a phantom when I was up there, uh, <laughs> when I was AFKing up there. Uh, we're going to. Um, let me just give you a quick look around. If you haven't haven't seen how this works before, um, what happens is the soul sand pushes the fish up. Uh, you do a layer of water on the bottom, and then you put slabs down, and then you put this water on top that runs across the lower water. I know the mechanics, they're Minecraft mechanics, it's not regular water mechanics, uh, real world mechanics. So the water, they spawn here, they get pushed over to the middle, and then I've got water in the middle there with magma blocks, they get sucked down, the signs are holding that water back, and then they get sucked into the little tube, um, and into the little minecart down there. Um, you could scale this up, uh, you could really scale this up and put another one over here, and then move your AFK platform like right here and go up so if you're wanting to like really scale this up and make it double you could do that um you could actually even make it further just have the minecart go further across um i don't know how big you could scale it but you could scale it fairly big if you wanted to you would just have to keep your minecart moving um you might i would recommend doing two minecarts because uh, it might get overwhelmed with all the fish that it picks up uh, I did catch a turtle. It was a baby turtle, and then I boxed it in. And I uh, I fed two turtles, and there was it must have been an egg at some point, but I boxed him in, so I've got one of them captured right here now. Uh, I fed the other two that were there. They had they laid the eggs, and this one hatched, and it was a little baby there on the sand. And I went ahead and boxed him in, gave him some water there, so um, he's gonna be happy for now um, until we can find another turtle, and then I can start breeding them. And I'll make a little turtle breeder somewhere here. I'll make a turtle farm somewhere right in here. And I'll come back down here in a minute because I've got some plans on what my next build is going to be. Um, oh, this was the other thing I'm doing here. I'm putting a bridge across from here so I don't have to fly and run. I had to, I had to keep falling down there and going back up. Oh, it was a pain. So I've made a temporary bridge. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to build a bridge here. I ran out of stone. But I'm going to build a bridge here, do some stone coming in here, and then have this, and then have a, have a bridge going over to that so I don't have to jump in the water every time. So that's the fish farm. The iron farm is working really well. The iron farm is working while I am AFKing up there. So it works well. It's giving me lots of um, lots of fish. I put a, I put a cat here to kind of cut down on some of the cats that are spawning up here because... 
I don't really need string. I don't really need string, so it's to cut down on some of the cats spawning. So I'm hoping by cutting the cats down, it will. I don't know if it's. I don't know if the cats spawning are interrupting the um, iron golem spawning. Oh, and there's two of them stuck. There they are. See, that's that's one of the problems you have with this farm. Uh, they get stuck. I don't want to fall in the lava. You gotta push them here. There we go. Yeah, they get stuck. They, they, you get two of them spawn at the exact same time, and I've been trying to figure out a mechanic to solve that. The only thing I can think is if you made the opening bigger and expanded this platform out, and I really don't want to do that. So if you're going to build this, maybe make it larger where it's a, instead of a 2x2, two two, it's a 4x4, four four, and they're falling in, it'll take a little bit more uh, resources. So I don't think the cats interfere with the uh, iron golem spawn. Oh. So I built that. I made a change. Uh, that wasn't what I wanted to do. I made a change up here to my fort top. I'm not sure I'm happy with this. But what I did is I put some top on it like this. Uh, put some glowstone so you can have some... I didn't like the fire. I didn't, it just looked kind of... Um, I had the fire right here in this corner. So I went ahead and put the fire up top. And I just kind of gave a little uh, protection here so... If you wanted to look out, or look out here, you could look out and jump off if you needed to. This is my platform to jump off here. The other thing I did is I went ahead and finished, um, I'm not totally finished with this yet, but if you look here, um, if you've seen from previous videos, I had this mountaintop here, and I converted this mountaintop to this big kind of ultra modern or modern glass look. So I made the opening here roundish. I may move that back. I don't know. I may move that back, but I made a little room here. I made a little room over here. Not much of a room. A little closet area there. And then I just come around here. And then you can jump off here if you need to. This is a landing platform. If you kind of, I guess, fly from there back to here. You could. If you wanted to. And I've got to decorate the inside here. i got to finish putting black uh, the tiles up there. I haven't done that yet. And the big project I've been working on. It's not a big project. I'm, I'm wanting to build a... Um, I'm going to be building a ship out in the bay. Uh, not a super big ship. I may, buy, I may build two or three of them. Uh, I'm just going to put a Viking style. Okay. All right, bugger head. Those guys are annoying. Oh. All right, thanks for the, thanks for that. But those guys are annoying. Oh, just one, huh? But out there, kind of in that bay there, I'm gonna do a dock out. Um, I think right about there, and I may put a couple of uh, ships out there. I'm gonna do a, a couple of Viking ships. So to do that, to get the Viking ships, I needed wood. And I did not have enough wood. And I'm going to use oak wood and I think dark oak. So I have been going and just flying to areas and farming real quick during the daytime and then flying back. And it's been getting annoying. Well, now you can see I've got all this oak logs right here. I was able to get four and a half, five, uh, about four and a half stacks. Uh, I looked online. There was a couple of different tree farms that... You grow the tree. There's an automatic tree farm where you grow it, and it you put the. Um, it's not the most efficient in the world, so I am gonna need. You do need a, a huge, a huge amount of. Is that gonna pick up? Yeah. One of the weird things is uh, the other day the minecart disappeared. I mean, it just was gone. I had, I, had to, I had to put a new minecart on the rails here, and that's why I, that's why I have this little hole here, so I can come in here and check. So what I did is I built this little contraption here. And excuse me, I'm a little bit tired. Um, what you do is you put the saplings down. Uh, there's videos online. Um, I think uh, JC plays or Jason plays or um, same as first name as me. Huh? Um, and this, uh, I just went off his build. I don't like it from a standpoint of it's it's faster than just planting trees faster than planting trees 
So if you're just going to plant trees and bone mill them and then go cut them down, you can still do that. So you can still do this right here. So you got this tree here. Um, you put a blocker across top so they won't make any like super large trees. But trees in bedrock just do not seem to want to grow as fast. They, their, their tick speeds, the tick speeds are horrible in bedrock. Um, and you can't change them uh, unless you turn sheets on. And I don't want to turn sheets on. Uh, but the tick speed is just at one. So this is one way to get trees like this. Um, but you're never sure if you're going to get one tree or two trees or... Or not one tree, but a small tree or a large tree. Uh, the one good thing about this, though, is you do get the drops. And that's why I went ahead and left these four trees here. Because the drops, I do need the uh, saplings. Um, so what I've done is I brought a whole bunch of bone meal down here. And the way this works, and I'm just going to explain the mechanics real quick um, on how this is working, is this is a dispenser right here. You fill this with bone meal. Uh, what I'm not happy about is... You then put this hopper on here, fill it, and then put the... And I did a double chest, and I filled that with, with uh, bone meal. So you see all this bone meal here. And what happens is, when you turn this on... Of course, there's nothing for it to go on, so it, nothing's happening. It's just trying, but this is a ticker here. So you put um, this redstone... You put a redstone torch on each side. And you put this, and they're basically... It's a feedback loop, so it's a ticker. So it's just like a feedback loop. It's just it's just constantly hitting. So it's right now it's hot. You turn it off, and these start pulsing back and forth, and they're just sending signals back and forth to each other. They're they're feedback looping. Well, that turns it off because that shuts the power down back. It feeds power back, so you're force feeding power back, so it can't pulsate. So it can't pulse back and forth. Well, when that pulses, it hits the dispenser and tries to dispense the bone meal which then tries to grow the tree. And the tree, every tick, it looks to say, can I grow? Well, in this case, it's going to grow four high. Well, you get, you block it here because you don't want a large, you don't want a large oak uh, going up. Um, and so what happens is this goes ahead and, and grows it. When it grows, the observer here sees it. So it sees that there's a tree there and it fires off. Well, these right here are repeaters, and this repeater fires off the signal to go over here to the pistons, and I'll come back to that in a second. This signal here, you're blocking the feedback loop, because if you didn't use these repeaters here to feed back into themselves, that's some weird sound, uh, if you didn't have these repeaters here, it would feedback loop on itself, um, and it would just sit there and just constantly tick. I mean, it just, I, I would demonstrate how it works, but it just, it just, just trust me, this is the way the redstone is working here. So the redstone hits this one, the repeater goes in here, it hits here and then fires into this one and it kind of shuts it off. So it starts, it, it fires once and then shuts it back off so it doesn't give a feedback, it doesn't give a feedback loop. Well, then all this redstone, this comes here and fires this off. This redstone powers this whole brick, this block here, so it fires this one off. This one comes down here and fires this one off and then this block because the redstone's on top of it gets charged and this one fires off so they all four fire at the same time so once this tree grows they all four fire it pushes the wood block boom one forward and then you come and plant another tree and i'll, I'll demonstrate it here in just a second well then you've got a four block tree here and then it pushes it and then it just pushes it out till it comes out to right here so it'll come all the way out to right here or right here is the last spot that it'll push it. That's as far as it can push. So it'll push 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It'll push out 11 and then stop. Because it can't. these pistons can't push anymore after that. So what I did is I went ahead and did another observer on this one here. So when these get pushed all the way to right here, you'll have a wall of trees right here. A wall four high. I guess I could have went one more right here. But I didn't want to interfere with all this here. So I just figured, well, this is enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you have seven times four. And then it gets pushed this way. And then I actually pushed them. It was pushing them pretty far. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I had gotten it out to here and one pushed into the hallway right here. Uh, they stopped here because it couldn't push any farther. 
but I'm going to expand this out and I'm going to see just how far these pistons will push a wall of trees at some point. It took almost... I had about two rows here of stacks left of bone meal. It took all of that, plus all of that, plus all of that to grow all those trees. And I'll put it in demonstration. It's going to get really noisy when I do it. Oh, look, here we go. So see, you get all these drops. Those are nice, 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 nice. You get nice, lots of nice drops here. Um, the other thing I was doing was I got a whole bunch of leaves. So as this grows, I set here with uh, shears. And I'll show you what I do here. I'm going to swap out. I'm going to leave my wings on for now. I do this to, to replenish my... Uh, see, I do these four trees right here to replenish my saplings. Because I'll get enough sapling drops here to replenish. See, I'm back up to 39 now. Uh, and then this will... Doing this method will not replenish your saplings. You do not get them back at, at a high enough rate to sustain it. So you are going to need to create some trees somewhere else and let them drop naturally. So I will probably create a little farm where I make a whole bunch of hoppers around it. So when everything falls, it gets collected up. All of the uh, saplings and all of the apples and all the sticks and I don't have to worry about it. I go cut them down. I make a row of them. I cut them down. Bump, 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 bump. And then I have the hoppers collect whatever falls. And then I can just go pick them up later. Then I don't have to go back and run around to them. So let's turn this on. Here we go. So it's going to make it grow. And I sit here with the shears and do this right here. Once it grows, it it's a hit and miss. The tick rates are terrible. I tried to put more light. Okay, so nothing's happening right now. See, I'm not losing any bone meal. That's the good thing. And I got to go take care of this guy here. I'm in a slime chunk right here, but it it's not too bad. It's it's not too bad. Slime chunk. So it's what it's doing is it's going back and forth. See, it's ticking, and it's trying to put out bone meal, but it, I'm not losing anything. See, it's at, it's at 13, so I'm not losing anything. Now I'm now it's losing now. But what I'm also doing here is collecting. See, lots of oak leaves. Sometimes I come over and do this right here just to try to reset it. I don't know if it works or not, but see, I've got the one here, and then there we go. Oops. Throw another one down. Get some leaves here. Sometimes it's fast. Sometimes it's slow. Oh, they see it now. It's faster. Sometimes it's really quick. It's just it's random. It's semi-random based on the tick tick rate. And I just set it right here and collect. Uh, I just profit on leaves. So if I ever need leaves to do uh, any major, I missed it again. Whoa! See how fast that one was? Ooh, Nelly! Oh, oh, I'm stuck in the limbs now. I'm stuck in the leaves. Okay. See, sometimes it's fast, sometimes it's slow. Sometimes it sounds like a country music song. Sometimes it's fast, sometimes it's slow. I put water right here, thinking that might help, but I don't think it helps. I don't think the water there helps. Um, now, the other thing that I'm not happy about is that because the mechanics of the mechanics of the hoppers, because this hopper right here has got power right next to it. See, it's got power right next to it. It will not, if I turn that off, and let's say I take this out, it does not refill. Do you see that? The hopper... The hopper is not refilling. Oh, I got another one coming at me. Really? I I was down here for like an hour earlier tonight. And I didn't have any come at me. And now they're coming at me all over the place. Uh, I may have to put some... Um, he he's, did he spawn up there? I think he spawned up there on that. I may have to... I may have to put some... Uh, I'll put some slabs down. I, I sometimes use slabs... So I'll put a slab down. That's what I'll do. I'll, I'll go up and put slabs down instead of bricks on there. There we go. Let's turn this back on again. So it will not fill up. See? It will not fill up. So what I do is I let it run. Now now it's filling up, but real slowly. Because it's, it's a hit and miss. It's hit and miss. 
based on how fast that tick, because that, that hopper's only getting a tick every so often. So it's it's pulling it's pulling real slow. So what I do is I just um, I let it run for a few seconds, then do that. There we go. And see that one was fast. And I pretty much burn these shears out quick. I may go buy an unbreaking book and put on put on a set just to see how see how far I can get with one of them. And now see this was taking longer. I just want to show you what what I do here. See, because is when they and see these get pushed down and see two more times now, and then the next time these all on this wall here will get pushed forward, and then you just keep doing that. That way you don't have to stop down here, because what I was uh, what I was doing was it would only push, you know, eight or nine or whatever it was out there, and then I would have to stop, and I would have to stop this part and go cut the trees down. Go cut the line of trees down. I was like, I don't want to do that. I want to cut the trees down after I get a whole bunch of them. There we go. Now I've busted it. Give it a second. And then if I've busted my shears, I just sit here and do this. Now, did it this fire off? Now watch. Is this going to fire? Oh, it fired off, see? See, so now I got a line of now I've got a line of trees right here. Oh, it just moved one more. So then when the next one gets down there, it'll fire off. And then these will get pushed all the way down, and then I'll just have a big huge block of trees. And then all I gotta do is uh prop it. It's a little bit more manual. It's not an AFK system. You'll want a lot of bone meal. You do have to have a lot of bone meal for this. Um, but it 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 works it works really well. Um, for what I mean, versus versus going through. See, these haven't even grown yet, and it's probably because I'm getting all this ticking over here. But you'll notice that my sapling sapling rate is going down rapidly. So what I do is, in the meantime, why? See, look at that. Oh, there it went. Right as I got there. Ooh, it busted one loose. What happened with that? That was weird. Did you see that? That was like an extra piece of wood. That was like a glitch all of a sudden. Huh. That was a that was glitchy. See the the the, the trees grow much better on Java. That's one of the things I like on Java. Um, but this one's not bad. But you can see what I do is I just go ahead and cut this tree down here and then wait for this one. And while I'm doing this, the, oh, there's a sapling right up there. So what I do is I've got a little way up here. So I just come running over here to pick up any little saplings that, that do fall. Because these are in a decay, state of decay. After the See, it now it, they are in a state of decay because the tree got moved. And I give it a second here to kind of build back up. It cannot keep up. If you just constantly, if I'm just constantly putting, if I'm just constantly throwing trees in there, it cannot keep up. There's just, it just can't do it. Oh, this fired off. So now I've got two rows. There we go. See, that one broke somehow. That was, oh, I'm, did I hit that one with my axe? I don't think so. That was really weird. That one broke from here and then, but it showed up down over there. That's really weird. So this is the same setup, same observer. It's just going through, doing the same setup so it doesn't feed back on itself. And then it, that one goes down there and fires all those off. These come up here, fire all these off. And um, that's it. That's the tree. That's the tree farm. And we just go through and you can see all the leaves I've, I've collected. These are from earlier today. Those are the apples. A few sticks that I got. And you just have to, um, like I said, you just have to prep and make sure that you got a lot of, this This is a resource heavy farm. You really have to have a lot of bone meal. So my um, fish farm comes in handy for this, for the bone meal. What you can do, uh, there's some bone meal farms. You can set up, uh, I think there's one for kelp that you can use kelp. Um, I would maybe use the sugar cane one. So you've seen in a previous video of mine where I did the sugarcane farm. So if you took the sugarcane farm and then had the sugarcane drop into composters and made and made bone meal out of it, that would work. 
That would work too. Oh, see, now I've got, I got a few out of that one now. You see, I get way more out of just letting, just letting a natural decay happen. And that's it. That is the process. Hey, I've got another one in here. I'm going to have to figure out where the, uh, where this is. And I'm going to, I'll probably put some, uh, I don't, not here, but see, and then this, this, these will push all the way out to here and then they'll stop because they hit the wall, but I'm eventually going to, uh, do this here and, uh, I'll, I'll fill that water in because I was trying to do something with water, but then I was like, you know what? There's gotta be, there's gotta be an automatic farm. Um, and here I'm just, these are my vine, this is my vine farm here. I just do this and I'm probably going to go down further with it now that I can go down further. Sheep farm is coming along good. I'll give you, I'll, we'll go down and look at the sheep farm real quick. We'll look at the production on the sheep farm. And that's the other cool thing is I'm in this chunk for the sheep farm. So the sheep farm are, see, producing really well. Which is good because my next build, um, I'm wanting to build the ship. And I'm going to need a lot of, um, I will need a lot of uh, wool for that. And, and let's do one more. Will it do it? Will it do it? Will it do it? There we go. And there we go. And see, there we go. And then it just it just keeps it just keeps going, keeps going. Pretty awesome. So that is it. I um, hope everybody has a great holidays. Silas, Rowan, and Riley, love you guys. And remember, be excellent to each other. Thank you for watching Red Beat videos.